Hey, before I start today's episode, I want to tell you guys that now is the time to support the Tally Tumblr. Yes, my project is live right now. Links are in the show notes. If you head over to Kickstarter right now, type in Tally Tumblr, you'll see my project right there. Support it, get behind it, grab yourself one if you want to see this project come to life. I've been working very hard on it, and I am excited that it is almost here. I just need your help to make this project a reality. Tally Tumblr. Check it out now. This is Toss Talk, where it's all about yard games, having fun, and what it takes to create social entertainment. With your host and creator, Kelvin, on Toss Tunes Radio. Hey, what is up? And welcome back to another episode of Toss Talk. And today, we are playing Mini Helmet Football. Yes, this game takes like a new take, almost on a little bit of paper football, but you are playing with those tiny little NFL helmets on a nice little surface where you flick your helmet and you're trying to get it in the end zone for touchdown and points. I like this game because there's some strategy behind it. And as you hear, as I got the owner on the line, it's almost a little bit like chess. So links are in the show notes. Check out this game. Follow them on Instagram. They have a huge following going on right now. And if you like football, this game is for you. So, hey, let's get into this chat. Hello. Hey, Todd, what's going on? Uh, I want to do something real quick here. Okay, there. Can you still hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Hey, I'm excited uh, that we get a chance to talk and talk about your product. Uh, I've seen it for a while now, and um, yeah, I'm excited to hear the story behind it. So, um, yeah, how'd you create it, and where are you from? And let's dive into this. Sure, sure. So, uh, originally, back in the day, in, in like uh, middle school, I was really into buying those helmets that you get at the you know gumball machines. Yeah. And so I try and get uh, a full team of 49er helmets. And, you know, through the course of time, I blew a lot of money. Finally got my 12 helmets. They're just on on my windowsill. And I'm thinking there's got to be more to it than that. And uh, you, you remember that um, finger football game where you pulled up a piece of paper into a triangle? Yeah. So, so the way we played it, I, I'm not sure. I think different places played it differently, but you kind of uh, hit it and try and get that piece of paper to hang off the edge of a desk. And you get four chances, and then, like, you could use one of those chances to kick a field goal, right? Yeah. So so I kind of just said, oh, let, let me adapt that game to, with a little helmet, you know, mini helmet football, like uh-huh. little helmet. And, of course, you can't hang a helmet over the edge of the table, right? So we would just make a line and say, if you're, you know, it was like two inches from the table, and if you could flick the helmet and get it to be in that area, it was a, um, a touchdown. And then we found a way of using, you know, kicking a, uh, a field goal with the helmet. And that's kind of how it all got started. Oh. And then, um, yeah, yeah la- later on when I, I was just going to go on to, to um, later on when um, when I had my own son, and he's playing games you know, on, on their computer all the time. And I just happened to show him that, and he liked it. And so it was the first game where he and I could really spend playing together and playing against his buddies. And that's really when I thought, you know, what, this is something that, that you know I can do with my son. And, and that's kind of how the whole thing started. That's very cool. Um, yeah, I remember playing uh, the paper football in like probably like middle school, and that was so much fun. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Um, yeah, I, I immediately like thought of that, like when I saw the game and everything and, uh, I was like, oh, that, that, that is like a little different take on it. So you did a good job on it cause everything looks good. Oh, cool. Yeah. I think the thing, oh, go ahead. Oh no, you're fine. Keep going. 
I was just going to say, you know, it got to be pretty quick. You could win, you know, uh, you have four possessions and you could win pretty easily or, you know, the game was so quick. Then, then we started to do the strategy behind it, you know, where you have the seven players and then you have, you know, you try and, I mean, this is probably getting into one of the other questions. Cause I yeah, you're good. The, Keep the going. Question. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. how do you, how exactly do you play? <laughs> so it's, it's kind of like pool in that, um, so bottom line is, is you have four possessions, right? And so uh-huh. each possession, you have four downs to try and get into the end zone. You can't go out of the end zone. And and bottom line is is you have, as an offensive player, two moves to either uh, put a receiver out in the field or to send two blockers out and run running your backs or your quarterback. And after you take an offensive turn, the defense uh, takes a turn, and you're trying to create passing lanes or running lanes, and then after both people have taken the turns, you you can, you know, do the offensive move. I mean, it's kind of hard to describe, but I mean, yeah. you, you, know, you, you kind of see how it works. But there's I, strategy behind it. So I, I get it. Yeah, I can see how it could be a little competitive. Is it actually kind of difficult to, like, be accurate when you flick it? Is it hard, or is it, like, too easy, and, like, you really have to, like, slow down your finger and not, you know, hit it as hard? Oh, exactly. <laughs> So the one thing is, if the helmet tumbles, that you know that play is dead. So oh, okay. it's all about control. And then when you get some of these guys, like you, you know, you can make it with guys anything can be competitive, right? Yeah, like of I ate two hot dogs. You know, I'll eat three. I can eat five. Next thing you know, so um, once you start playing really good defense and blocking passing lanes and doing man to man, where it's super difficult to try and contact the receiver helmet downfield. It's amazing how competitive people get. Oh. And when you get someone who's good, they just like to dominate and no one likes to play them. That's probably, you know, probably the biggest problem okay. is if you get someone who's good, especially if it's a female, <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> and she's really good, it's funny how none of the guys want to play, you know, play her. Uh, so, anyway. I get it. It's It, it kind of, like, from what you're saying, it's like a little bit like chess as well. You know, moving around exactly. the pieces, blocking off lanes and everything. I like how intricate yeah. it sounds. Yeah, it, it it is kind of fun because there's some guys who, um, you know, they'll they'll have a running attack that is just hard, so hard to stop. But then yeah. someone will figure out a defense. And it's kind of like a real league because as soon as someone finds a way to stop it, everyone wants to go and watch that game, wants <laughs> to watch that game. And then, okay, now I know how to stop that defense. But a lot of it is, is execution. So you can have a good scheme, kind of understand what you want to do with the pieces. But if you can't, like you were saying, you know, aim correctly and, and be accurate, you're throwing interceptions or you're, you know, tumbling the guy. So yeah, it's been fun. I, I get that. That sounds like fun. Um, so uh, what version are you on from, like, the original concept? Uh, pretty close. What we do is every year or so we get input from people who play and then we'll kind of, um, run it past a couple of people and we'll either adopt something or not. And then we'll, I, we haven't updated the rule book in probably two years, but Uh I'd I'd say we're pretty close. There's just been things that people like the biggest change most recently in the last two years was a 10 second uh, play clock. So people were, you know, doing the Tiger Wood thing where you get down low and see if you have space and they're taking forever to try and figure out all the angles and see if, you know, there's something open. So it makes the game quicker and a lot more pressure. Okay. So, I get it's that. the same game. As, yeah. It's just been, uh, you know, tweaks and things, suggestions from the field, you know, nice. Um, who's all in the business with you? Uh, just myself right now. Um, and then there's a lot of folks that we work with kind of just to, to get the word out. This has really been just, a labor of love you know like i said (laughs) yeah it's been something that you can like there's one gentleman i don't know if you might have been mentioning him he's he's been he's ordered the game he's been playing and he's uh really stoked about playing it with his two kids in fact he's been posting a couple of videos nice and his kids are seven you know and he's just loving being able to do stuff with them so that's kind of why i do this but yeah we're looking at getting into to to you know, trying to do some things with some sponsors, especially Rydell, if we could ever, you know, work yeah. that out. But no, that that's very plans. cool. 
It's an um, and it's a unique game as well. Um, uh, brings something a little bit different to the table. I know, like, I'm all about like yard games and everything, but mm-hmm. I'm actually a big fan of games that you can play inside. Like, <laughs> so yeah, uh, uh, yeah, that's very cool. It's a great tailgating game. That's kind of where um, the business side was going. Is okay. you know, can you imagine being at like a you know Washington game that's your team and they're playing you know. Niners or something, and you got your your table there. You got your Washington uh, logo. Oh, right now, they don't make them. Yeah, so I have. know. <laughs> but you know, but then you like challenge all these fans walking yeah, by. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so uh, anyway, that's uh, no, no that, tailgating is. I see. I get it. That's cool. It's uh, you know, it's I, I'm just thinking of it as a uh, football chess right now. Like <laughs> on steroids, yeah. it sounds awesome. I'm gonna make so many memes about that. <laughs> I'm, I'm going. We'll go ahead. Like I said, we'll get you out of the game. Um, we don't have the helmets. Oh, we could remove the logo, <laughs> but uh, we're gonna get you the bills because they're the ones who should be going to the Super Bowl. Uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> I'm a I'm a soccer fan, so I'm open for anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. I'm down to play the game though, because I, I like the strategy side of this. It sounds sounds very cool. Good. Good. Um. So, uh, where are you getting the game sets made, or who's making them for you? Um, the mats we had made here in the U.S. for a long time. We're starting to look elsewhere, but all the other pieces, and then the helmets we use are the official Rydell helmets, the ones approved by the NFL. Nice. Um, I think it's a uh, Rydell party pack. If it, you know, you can get them from us, or you can get them anywhere, like Amazon or sports stores. Okay. But the uh, field goal tee and you know the kicking thing and all those things, we actually get made in China. Ah, very cool. Um, so uh, just moving on a little bit. I mean, I'm pretty new to this, and uh, you explained it very well. But what are some like common misconceptions that you have to keep explaining the customers or people that just see the game that don't really know what's going on. Um, I don't know if there's a lot of real misconceptions. I think um, it's just the intricacies of the game because as we started to play the game, people kept on saying like, Hey, how do you do a pitch? Can you do wildcat? Can you do a draw play? Can you, and certain things you can adapt to the game and certain things you can't. You just simply can't, right? Yeah. Um, we, so, you know, there are some really cool things you can do, and it's just explaining the intricacies. In fact, the gentleman I was telling you about right now, yeah. he's really been big at telling me, hey, um, here's a question, and then answer it. Make sure you get that in the book. Make sure you get that in the rule book. So I think that's the biggest thing. It's, you know, you have the base passing plays and the base running plays, but there's all kinds of other things you can do to really throw off you know, the defense. And I think the biggest thing is trying to catalog that in the rule book so that people can understand it. Okay. Um, yeah, that, that sounds really cool. And I'm not that into football, so I don't really know exactly about all the plays, but putting it oh. in a game form like this, I think I, I might pick it up though. <laughs> if you got anybody, if you're really into yeah. football, and uh, you get them playing this. Tell them we have people here on the West Coast that will come out and play them or fly them out here. And we'll, yeah. We'll do a East Coast versus West Coast when COVID's over. Uh, yes, I know. I, I, I'm ready to travel around and play some games with everybody. Uh, I've been getting that request a lot, but, yeah, traveling's crazy these days. <laughs> it is. Uh, yeah, that sounds like fun, though. Um, what a... How how are sales going? Are are things steady, or is it just like kind of slowly ticking along? This year has been a little kind of. I think you know you can't really meet with your buddies, so it's yeah. been slow. But uh, prior to it, we usually have a push, right? You know, right when football season starts and then uh-huh. picks up during playoff season and Super Bowl because people have their parties and whatnot. But um, yeah, it's it's good enough. Uh, I would like eventually to have this be a business that I could just focus on completely. But uh-huh. for now, it's fun to get it out there and kind of grow it, you know, from a grassroots level. That's very cool. Um, I I noticed that online that uh, 
you have a pretty good little following. I guess there are like your buddies and everything. Um, can you tell me a little bit more about everybody involved, like all your friends? Sure. I mean, there's a, uh... oops, is that me or you? Oh, that was, I'm not sure. Keep going. We're oh. good. <laughs> <laughs> well, for example, we've shipped games to England, to Australia, to France. There's another guy out there who's trying to start these hubs. Um, Boston, a lot in the Midwest. They're all over the place. And the the hard thing is, is they'll be isolated. And we need to find a way to say, okay, here's the, all the other people in Green Bay that are playing or in your state. Um, so that's kind of the deal right now. People are playing it all over, but it's not big enough yet to where, like right now I'm in the state of Washington and before I lived in California. We were getting to the point where you could find people to play in the Central Valley of California. Oh, wow. But, you know, so it's it, eventually the, the, the vision is, is that, you know, um, those party helmets that I'm talking about, yes. those are already being sold. So people are buying those, right? Okay. So the whole concept was if you show them a way to use them, because I don't even know what they're buying them for, you know? Oh, that's but if true. you show them a way to use them, right. And then, like, um, you know, the way it was in California, there'd be folks that were like Green Bay fans, and other people would have their, their Falcon teams. And they would have, we'd have a 16-game uh, season. And, you know, we would meet every weekend and, and play, you know, play each other. And it, it's always hard when you're the bottom, you know, when yeah. you're the, <laughs> the worst <laughs> in the league. Uh, but, uh, I, I get so anyway, that. that's how it is. People yeah. from all over have, have have bought and are playing the game. Yeah. That's very cool. I like that. Well, I mean, you got to start somewhere, and um, it yeah. does seem like people are loving the product and playing, the, you know, playing the game a lot. Um, it is tough for a lot of these new products and games trying to get people to, you know, like it and then get it in your area and show it off to people. <laughs> so, right, uh, right, yeah, it, it, it's a tough one. But um, in time. Yeah, in time. Usually, if you stick with something, yeah, if you stick with something you love, then you know, and other people love it, then eventually it grows. So I'm in a rush. Yes, and um, I do feel like there, uh, there needs to not be more football games, but there's good to have like a good variety of football games, and um, this is definitely yeah. a unique one. So you're you're in the right spot, and football's not going anywhere. So <laughs> you know, you only All have right. more marketing to do. <laughs> Yeah, and like I tell people, you know, there'd be times when I'm like, why did the coach call that play? Or why did the, why did the quarterback throw there? Yeah. And so I'll tell people, quit, quit being an arm, you know, an armchair quarterback or coach. Uh. You play, you put yourself on the line, you know, you execute under pressure, and then, then, then now it's all on you, you know. And so a lot of people are like, okay, sounds good. Nice. Yeah, right. I know. <laughs> yeah, don't tell me what to do from the sidelines. <laughs> Oh man. Um I have a couple random questions for you. Let's uh get sure. into that. All right. So uh question number 1. Um I know it's covid times. You haven't been to tailgates, but what do you look forward to eating while at it, while you're tailgating? Uh everything. Everything. <laughs> yeah. Um I think in one of the questions you had, it was, what is my specialty? Um, I would say barbecue or um, teriyaki chicken wings. Ah, nice. I like that. Um, what's your uh, favorite yard game to play? Um, probably uh, Cornell Toss, like everyone else. Love that game. There you go. Um, if you had to get rid of a yard game or sport, what would it be? Yeah, I think I think they're all good. I, one game that I'm glad they got rid of. Do you remember that one game where you had huge darts, and then you had like a, a circle, and you had to throw them up in the air? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad they got rid of that game. That was deadly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the lawn darts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, my god! Whoever made that game, man. Thinking. Yeah, those things are actually around for a long time. It's crazy. <laughs> right. 
All right. Um, next question. Would you rather vacation at the beach, the mountains, or in the big city? Uh, the beach. My yeah. family uh, is from Hawaii. Spent a lot of time there as, as a younger guy. So Hawaii all the way. Uh, yes i'm a beach guy as well i I live at virginia beach and i'll go travel to another beach as well (laughs) all right last one here uh who was your childhood idol uh if you're talking football joe montana if you're talking anything else george lucas oh all right i like that some sports legends all right. Um, yeah, that's all I have for you for the random ones. Good answers there. Have people get to know you a little bit. All right. So uh, looking back a little bit from when you started um, to now, uh, what's something that you wish you would have done differently with uh, initially starting the business? Um, when I was looking at that one, I, I really, because this is just something that's growing, and evolving, I don't think I had a real business plan. So nothing I would change. There's just a lot of plans for the future, I think, to the answer to that one. Okay. All good. Yeah, when things are just getting going, you know, you're just kind of doing everything, so you don't really have time to reflect too much. Just trying to get it out there. So I get that. Um, yeah, and speaking about the future, what are you currently excited about? Like, what's coming up for you? What's uh, what are what are the plans? Uh, they all they all hinge on when we uh, are all vaccinated and uh, <laughs> we can meet together. <laughs> but what we found was really good is um, community tournaments. Those those are probably you know it's the best way you have you, people show up and you have a, a, a training day and practice and then people show up and play and that's got to be the funnest thing that gives me the most satisfaction so i look forward to when covid's over when we can help people who are in different parts of the country uh start their own tournaments and, and support them that way yeah i uh i agree with that um same with like my bocce business and everything like that covid has kind of shut all the gatherings and everything getting together so it's a tough time but um, yeah, I think everybody's looking forward to when it's over. But uh, yeah, I'm excited uh, to see and hear more about this, and um, I definitely could see uh tournaments coming together because I mean, there's already major like chess tournaments and stuff like that. Like, I feel like this could be right up in that level, and just have it be cool as well. It, it's it's amazing how people they start out kind of looking at it and they're like yeah I'll try it and then they they connect on their first pass right oh, or they yeah. get their first interception or they make their touchdown or they kick the field goal but as soon as you get them you know when they can understand that they can play and they get the rules it's amazing how they kind of start you know <laughs> yeah get sucked into it. I'll just suck them right in I, I love that ah oh, man so uh. Last question I got for you. Uh, I know you're still new, starting out in business, but uh, what's uh, your mantra or quote or inspiration that you're living by that uh, helps you get up to sell uh, mini helmet football every single day? Well, I think it goes back to um, value relationships, believe it or not. I mean, um, it's amazing how quickly your kids grow or as brothers, I have a ton of brothers, how you grow up and get all busy and work. And you think back about the times when you were kids and you guys used to do fun stuff or, you know, relationships are everything. So don't take it for granted. And, um, anything you can do with your family members, um, it's valuable time. So even during COVID, I know a lot of people I talk to, they're like, I'm sick of my family. And it's kind of like, whoa, uh, soon enough, they'll be gone here or there or whatever. So um, that's what's so nice about yard games or even everything you're doing is it's all about relationships and, and enjoying people you know that you value that you're close to. That's well said. Uh, yeah, that's perfect. Value those relationships, and 
Yeah, you you hit it on the head. Uh, yard games bring people together, not just family, but friends and everything. So it's a good way to cherish those moments and and just have fun. You know, a good a good escape with it other is. people. It is like like uh, I was telling you the gentleman he sent a picture of his son making a separate field goal. Yeah, and you can see that that kid is just like yes, fine, I got it. You know, it's like <laughs> he's doing that with his boy, and that you know that just makes me happy. Uh, yes, I I love that, and from speaking with everybody and just hearing it in your voice, that yeah, it's it's a fun thing when you can make something for somebody else. Just to, I mean, it's slow going for the business side of it, but knowing that you fulfilled that enjoyment and you're putting forth a quality product for somebody else to enjoy, it it that's just fulfilling in itself. It sounds like you've done a great totally. job at that. Totally, yeah, definitely. Oh man! Well, I'm glad to hear more about the product. Uh, that's all I got for you. I just wanted to chat and see uh, what it was all about. And uh, thanks for sharing. Yeah, sure. Yeah, thank you for your time. Appreciate all that you do, Kelvin. Uh, awesome stuff, man. Of course, man. And uh, I'll be in touch. All right. Okay. Right. And uh, we'll send some out to you. Ah, <laughs> thank you. I can't wait. All right. Later. That was the creator of Mini Helmet Football. Links are in the show notes. Check them out. They have a huge following, and I'm stoked that I got to hear the background story today. And I have a lot more fun stuff coming up for you guys, so tune back in, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!